Good morning, good morning, good morning. Listen, raw loves this week are gonna, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, okay? I'm gonna give you your raw love, so don't panic. They're coming, but all in due time, because court's busy, <laughs> okay? But I didn't forget about my friends, all right? Um, see? Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get them out within the next couple days, okay? Obviously some today. All right, but I'm not going to be able to bang them out in one day, guys. I, I know you love when court bangs it out in one day, but that's not going to be today. <laughs> all right, it's just not. Um, I will tell you all my final contracts are, are coming to are coming to wrap. I'm almost done signing on the dotted line, okay? So I am going to put out my um, intro video in a little while for you guys to to see what it is on the, you know, the whole marketing platform where I'm going, but, um, so that's exciting. I can put that video up. Um, I will tell you, you will get that video with every video purchase. Um, and I will tell you they're going to be very, very reasonable prices. Um, but back to the raw love because Venus is retro. Okay. Um, I believe it's going into sport too. I'd have to double check. Don't don't quote me on that one. I'm not 100% positive. Um, and because of the new moon, all right. I will tell you the way I'm gonna break it down this week is I'm gonna break them down in groups. Okay, so I want you to get a little feel of like what Venus has to offer or what you're working with and what kind of energy you're going to be working with with the new moon okay and, and then you know i'll probably do i'll probably do a trio so i'll probably just do like additional messages through like the raw love part um deciding on what cards i'll probably use my um sexual trail for those um i haven't used those in a while so i really want you to check your Venus this week too, okay? Because Venus is retro. But I'm not gonna do separate videos for the new moon and Venus and Raw Love. It's just it's too much for it's too much for me. Okay. I got I got priorities, I got things to do. So <laughs> thanks, Ty. Um so with that being said, say Okay, so this is what I'm going to do with your Venus. I'm going to, with the raw loves, I'm going to break down the Venus first. Okay, so that way if you go to check your Venus, that's the first thing you're looking at. All right, is what's going on with your Venus. Um, if you choose to watch the whole video, go for it. Um, I will tell you, and I forget to tell you guys sometimes, it, it's super important to always check your rising sign and your moon sign. Because for me, I always relate more to my rising sign. Always, always, always. And also, it also depends on where you're at in your journey. So if, you know, it's, you know, if you're dealing with work, career, business, you want to check certain houses. If you're dealing with, you know, romance, love, all that stuff, you should always be checking your Venus, guys. I'm telling you, I'm a Taurus Venus, and I always relate to Taurus, okay? Um, Cancer Sun, but at the same time, that talks about my personality. Yeah, does it give you some insight? Yeah, but you want to you wanna get touchy-feely? Always check your moon, because your moon always deals with your emotions. So, I do relate to my moon a lot, but for some reason with me lately, it's just been my rising, okay? But I also, again, know my personality, so if I'm happy-go-lucky, you know, I, I'm always, like, cancer resonates, you know? And if I'm pissed off and, and grouchy and a biatch, I go to my rising, I go to my sport, okay? And I think that's because it's fixed, Um Taurus is fixed too. I can be pretty stubborn, but I I'm telling you, my my Taurus, my Venus, being in Taurus or whatnot too. It it's just I can relate no matter if it's love or not because I'm so passionate about what I do for work. Um, so I can always relate to my Taurus, okay? Because it's me Venus. Um, so I am gonna do the raw loves differently. I'm gonna break them down. So I'll start with Taurus energy, and then I'll probably go to new moon energy, and then you know raw love, and 
and break it down the way court always breaks things down for you guys. Um, somebody mentioned the other day, like, all right, court, you know, I got to trust you with the new moon and full moon and weekend energy and universal advice, that kind of stuff. I work for current energy, okay? Current. So if I'm doing one video and you're, you're a certain zodiac and you're like, oh, well, is this ball zodiac? Of course it is because it's, it's the universal energy. It's where the planets are at. It's where they're stationed. It's where they're going, whether they're direct, whether they're retro. It doesn't, it's where they're going, okay? So you should always be able to relate to those somehow because that's current energy regardless of your zodiac. When people break, when readers, for, for me, break down zodiacs, it's more, more or less where you're at and it's a little more in tune, a little more in depth type scenario, okay? I will tell you, you know, it is time to put two feet F and forward, okay? Planets are all direct again. Like, take advantage of this. For those who didn't take advantage of it last time, I'm sure, I'm sure you went through some, some harsh stuff. And because it's the new moon, you know, it's, it's letting go of the past. It's letting go of fears. It's letting go of conditioning. It's letting go of programming. It's just letting go and, and stepping into new, whether it's scary or not, okay? Because it's the only way we grow. And I don't want my soul to stay stagnant, you know? Um, and I don't mind going over and over and over. But sometimes, you know, when I get frustrated, because it's like, guys, how do you not see this? Like, where have you been for six months? Where have you been for three months? How's, how's your love life? You know, how's, how's, your work going, you know, how, how's your health? How's, how's X, Y, Z? And, you know, it's, it's harsh. We were dealing with this very detrimental summer. We were dealing with, you name it, we're, we're dealing with it. We're battling, especially mental health, physical health. Um, it's tough. It's tough. I didn't, know it was going to be this tough, but it, it's tough because I think it was a lot harder of an awakening for people because this shift of energy that we're experiencing, we haven't experienced in a long time. So to me, uh, I'm, I'm all in, I'm, I'm ready. You know, it's, it's, it's bringing me places. I'm like, you know, go with the flow. So once you can start accepting energy <laughs> and how it works and, and you work with it versus to try to fight it, you're good. You, you can't fight energy. You won't win. It's here to push us along, you know. Um, it's like a religion. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what religion you are. I'm telling you last night when I was in bed, I can't even tell how many times this song came to me, it was, um, I believe I can fly, I, I believe that I can touch the sky, I think about you every night and day, I don't know what song that is, if somebody wants to comment, but I, I can't even tell you, like, I was even reciting the Our Father, and, you know, for those who don't know that, and, you know, Our Father, Lord, and Heaven, how will be done, and the kingdom come, they will be done, and give us our, give us our say, a daily bread, forgive those of but for me, and I'm sorry if I just defended anybody. Okay, that's why I don't talk about religion or politics or that kind of stuff because spirituality to me is any religion you want to be. At the end of the day, if you're happy and working with the energy, that's all. That's all the universe works with. You know, you know your vibration, and it's it's a lot, but. I haven't recited that prayer since my Nana's funeral. A few months ago, and um, I don't know. It was like, I don't remember, I grew up Catholic, you know, so I know what it's like to, to be in, in certain scenarios and situations and, and, and pickles. And, but at the end of the day, you happy and, and, and really not worrying about what other people that think about you, you know, as long as you're happy. Um, so all that truly matters to me. And that's all I want to matter to you guys. 
you know, it, it, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like I, I'm hearing somebody recite that prayer over and over with that song, or, or people just wanting better, and people just hoping, and people in faith, and, and people holding on to, so they can see other people get on their journey, and, and start their lives, and know they're okay, and that's how I know things, you know, within the next six months to a year are going to start really wrapping up a little drastically in order for you to start a new journey because I can feel it, I can hear it, and it's like, and it's beautiful, and it doesn't matter who you pray to or how you pray or it just doesn't, as long as it's, it's what makes you happy and it makes you feel better, and You know, to me, it's like, with these shifts of energy, it's, it's, um, it's eye-opening going through these things that I, I with, with the friends and, you know, where my life is going and how it can be scary. I mean, I'm about to purchase a new home for the first time. I'm, I'm 41, and I brought it up in my video, you know, and it's like, is it intimidating? Yeah, but... I, it's beautiful and it, it's it's inspiring and it's just it gets me going and it keeps me going. But I, I just know a lot of people are having a hard time, hard hard time. And I know you want to reach out and, and some of you do and some of you don't and you some of you get responses and some don't. But that's why we're gonna start really really focusing on you know synergy in you and the way you need to be to find your happiness. Okay. Um, so again, I didn't mean to offend anybody if, you know, I, I just said a part, but that, that's me. I, I'm, I'm not an average type of you know? <laughs> right? So you got to remember, I grew up Catholic. I did the whole, you know, CCD ritual and, you know, my confirmations and, and just you name it. You know, it's like, I didn't know what it's like to, to grow up. In, in one religious scenario, household, and then going from the next and seeing how they live and how, you know, different cultures, and that's what's inspiring to me, is, is different cultures and, and religions and countries, and it, it just makes me want to go, 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 you know, it just does, it puts pep in my stuff, and it's just important for me, for you guys to recognize the energy. I will tell you, I guess I have with the raw love. It's easy for me to break down the zodiac. That's why I have to back with that. And to tell you kind of when the zodiac you're dealing with. But in all retrospect, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter. I mean, I come in as a high priestess all the time. All right, because of how I feel about my energy, how I work with my energy is empowering, you know, like, the high priestess comes in and a lot of people think secrets. To me, it's like, nah, you don't underestimate the high priestess. Never underestimate the high priestess. You know, he or she knows a lot more than you think. You know? Um, my intelligent, analytical, practical, nurturing, you know? Um, but I think, you know, me, I can go on and on and on. But I, I want you guys to absorb that energy. That energy you should be absorbing. And in letting go and the fear and worry and enjoying the of life and knowing that who it is we behind is going to be okay because why? Because you're happy. Why? Because they're happy. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can feel these transitions with the people, and, and yeah, it sounds cliche to say, because people, you know, they die every day, and, and they want every day, and I'm telling you, like, I know a lot of people that are about to have babies, and I also know a lot of people that are having health issues, whether it's physical or mental, and just, I know it's the energy, and I know what it's like, because I've been, I've been feeling it, and um, it's really hard to feel, so I, I, I know you guys are at when I'm being in certain stuff, and a lot of people think a lot of people work on magic right now, but to me, the universe, the energy, it is magical to me. It's definitely magical. And um, it doesn't have to be any way but universal magic. Um, I just want everybody.
but at the end of the day, to be freaking happy, all right? I, I know, I know life gets up to you sometimes, and that's why we need people in our lives to inspire us and, and put some pep in our step. You know, and I'm very blessed to, to, to be able to do that for some of you, okay? So, again, raw loves are going to be a little different, all right? It's going to be a trio. It's going to be a trio of us, okay? Um, sorry, I'm having a little It's me, the daughter. It's my daughter. It's me, the oldest. She's almost 21. Guess who's going on vacation soon? Um... Mama's going along for that one. I'm going to tag along with you, my little, my little princess. 21, I can say I'm not the 21 year old. Um, I'm a lot, I'm a lot older than you think I am. I'm 41. Um, the universe is supporting me. Who's supporting me? Anywho. So, like I said, um, I'm going to read Venus first, so you guys don't get confused. And I'm so sorry if I do it as fast as the course is up. I'm sorry. So I'm going to try not to. And I'm going I'm to try to get done within the next couple of days, guys. Okay, but um, super busy week for me to wrap up my business and um, get this new start of my journey going. All right? And you guys are part of it. And um, I'm so good. Um, it's time to get our inspiration back. It's time to get our happy back. Regardless, I know it's, it's tough sometimes. It's tough. But if you push through in this synergy, you're actually going to be blessed. Anywho, 